Hello everyone, and welcome to Snapshot 22W24A. This is the first of Minecraft 1.19.1 and not 1.20. And before we even begin to talk about this snapshot itself, I must let you know that there is a new Minecraft game coming your way in 2023. This is known as Minecraft Legends, and you are watching the trailer for it right now. It is an action strategy game played in the third person perspective. It takes place long in the past of Minecraft's history and you the player must unite the overworld and defeat the evil piglin invasion that is coming from the nether dimension. You get to gather resources, construct buildings and command troops as you work with unlikely allies to defend the overworld from this new threat. And if you had theories of a new dimension involving the ancient city portal, well I think the music heard on the latest 1.19 record disc, known as 5, is actually the sound of Invading Piglins, a link to this Minecraft Legends game. I did make an overview video on this that goes into as much detail as I could extrapolate from the 2 minute trailer that you have been watching at the beginning of this video. You can find that video linked in the description and right now we are indeed looking at the launcher and something you've probably already noticed on the left hand side of the screen, Minecraft Legends has already been integrated into the launcher. If we click on it, you can see there is some of the graphic art that's been shared, we've got the logo, you can't launch the game, it's coming soon, but there is a link to watch the trailer. Also, these little alleys hanging out in the top corner are absolutely gorgeous. In the trailer, you can actually see the golden ally is one that's able to build blocks. This is probably something that's only ever going to be in the Legends game. And you can have a little fun if you choose to click on it. It sort of resets the animation. So if you were paying attention a moment ago, you may have noticed that I've already made a video on alley duplication, and that was because it was introduced to the Bedrock Preview edition of the game. But it is not the only thing added in this snapshot, so we're covering it again. It works pretty much the same as Bedrock with a, a minor quirk. So first of all, let's get an LA in and give it an Amethyst Shard. This is actually the item that you need to duplicate the LA, but I wanted to demonstrate that you could still give it one. Now in order to get it into duplication mode, it needs to be near a jukebox, which is when it will start to do a dancing animation that involves a beautiful little twirl, a twist to the left and then the right, and then it twirls all over again. This means it's in its duplication mode, and if we right click on it with an Amethyst Shard, you can see that we get some love hearts, and then another one pops off. And uh, it's flying too, but we can't breed it just straight away. Aha, uh -huh, you see, it just gave it the Amethyst Shard. This is because they have a 2.5 minute cooldown before they're able to duplicate again. And it needs to be within 10 blocks of a jukebox, which seems to be measured a little different on Java. If I summon it on this ninth block, it goes into dance mode. And if I summon it on the 10th, it has to fly inside here. But you can imagine a circular sphere around this jukebox. And when it's in that range, that's when they can duplicate. And just in case you were wondering, it doesn't need to be a specific music disc, but other side is just my favorite right now. And if you happen to be wondering why the Amethyst Shard, well, the LA is a musical mob. It makes lots of sounds as it goes along. And Amethysts are musical blocks, so they have that kind of tie together. And I also want to point out that this has the same bug as on preview edition of the game where the music stops and the LAs keep dancing. And they actually stop dancing when you take the record disc out, which kind of makes sense from a coding perspective. You know, if Jukebox has record, then the LA dances. But in my mind, when the music ends, they should probably stop dancing. So I have learned that most of you watching these snapshot videos are not actually subscribed to the channel and it's a great reason to subscribe because obviously you want to be informed about the latest Minecraft updates and that's what I do here. So anyway, subscribe if you haven't and let's crack on with the video. The next feature added in this snapshot is player chat reporting where it is now possible to report a player for sending abusive messages in a game chat. You can fill out a report and highlight the objectionable content and then this goes on to the moderation team to take action against that player. And to do that as a player on the server, you have to open up your social interactions interface. And when you press P to do that, you will now get this message that chat report is coming soon and that it's under development and that they're collecting feedback and the feature will be available in the future. And on this server, my camera account has been saying nasty things for me so we can create a report for the abusive language. So when you click the screen, you see this menu right here. You can select a chat message to report, and this is unacceptable. 
My camera account called me a derp. So you can select that message so that they can see it. And then you can also select a category right here. And then in this box, you can provide a further context. And uh, selecting a category is required, but obviously this is a joke. I'm not going to send this off and waste their time. Now, I believe that Mojang and Microsoft have good intentions at heart when it comes to protecting the players of Minecraft, which tend to be young. And if you've been on the internet for more than a minute, you know that there are places in the gaming space you can go to that can be very toxic People can be exposed to horrible language and when people behind behind anonymity they tend to say things they wouldn't say to one another IRL. So these are spaces that people can be exposed to nasty content. Now whenever big changes like this come along I often see some people getting quite hysterical and talking about censorship, freedom of speech and systems like this being abused to you know attack players as opposed to report ones that are behaving nefariously. And what I will say about all of this is that moderation itself is a tool and a tool can be used in a variety of ways and I'm hoping that Microsoft and Mojang can use this in the best way possible. So in my mind there is great good that can come from having inbuilt tools of moderation to protect vulnerable players. It does boil down though to how well those tools are used so I'm calling for a little bit of calm and rationality not to jump to too many wild conclusions on this one. This snapshot also comes with some bug fixes. I'm just going to read most of them off. Trade Alarmers continue to spit after their target has died. A nitwit villager can have a profession. Cured villagers can work at the wrong workstation. The sky color is visible for a brief moment after applying night vision under the darkness effect. Frogs can lay spawn on flowing water. So these are all things that have been fixed. For example, you can put the frog spawn on the source water, but now you can't put it on any of these spots. And the next bug fix means that if you have waterlogged blocks, you can put frog spawn on top of them. Or the frogs. I mean, the frogs can also lay them on top, right? And does this mean it works with stairs? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So it may look like you can add a little extra texture to some of your blocks, but eventually they're going to hatch and then they'll be out of the water when they hatch, which is kind of cruel. And I don't think it's useful in any way for a Minecraft farm. Oh, and it actually turns out that they'll go inside of the block. And because we've got stairs here, it's kind of odd looking, but these ones are in water. And then all of the ones at this level, they're actually just inside the stair block. Very strange. And back to the bugs, there are probably just two more worth mentioning. Mobs that naturally spawn with equipment will play the respective equipping noise and cured villagers trades are not refreshing. And so with that we arrive at the end of the video where I'll remind you to leave a like if you want to support the channel and if you want to learn more about Minecraft Legends, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can find my coverage of that linked in the description box down below. That is it from me for this one, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another. Bye bye.